channel civil learning and uh, today in this video i will be discussing about my travelage method which is also known as double integration method and uh, for this i have selected a simply supported beam of a span 6 meter which is carrying a two point load of 48 kilonewton and 40 kilonewton at distance 1 meter and uh, 3 meter from the end a respectively uh, in this video you will find a step by step solution of this numerical so without wasting time let's begin the video so uh, as you can see our first step is to find the reaction at the end means we have to find reaction at a and b for that i have supposed the reaction b a and b b at in a and b for that we have to remember remember that sum of upward force is equal to sum of downward force means b a plus b b means upward force is equal to downward force downward force are 48 kilonewton and 40 kilonewton means these two are equal then we get b a plus b b is equal to 88 kilonewton which is going to be our equation one now we have to find one more equation for solving these two variables because number of variable is should be equal to number of equation in order to find the num variable values so we have and another equation we are we will get from uh, the moment and uh, as we can see that sum of clockwise moment is equal to sum of anti-clockwise moment if i am taking moment about a then 48 kilo newton and uh, 40 kilo newton will be clockwise moment and this vb will be anti-clockwise so clockwise moment means uh, i am taking moment about a means 48 into 1 plus 40 into 3 is equal to vb into 6 now we get vb is equal to 28 kilo newton on solving this equation okay now put the value of bb in this equation we will get uh, from uh, suppose this is our equation 2 mm, and after putting the value of bb in this equation equation 1 we will get ba is equal to 60 kilo newton then from equation 1 ba is equal to 60 kilo newton now I have got the value as you can see VA is equal to 60 kilo newton and uh, VB is equal to 28 kilo newton now I am I will come to our step 2 uh, for that uh, let's consider uh, a point E at distance X from A now let's begin step 2 now in step 2 what we need to do is we have to find moment about point E on LHS of E for that we have we will have ME is equal to 60 into X this is clockwise moment and uh, minus 48 into X minus 1 this whole is X so we will subtract this one then we will get this distance this will be x minus 1 okay and uh, for this 40 kilo newton this going it this is this distance distance from point e is going to be uh, x minus 3 so what we will have is uh, m e means moment at e is called to clockwise moment minus anti-clockwise moment means uh, 60 into x minus 48 times x minus 1 this is load into distance minus 40 into x minus 3 now this moment can also be written as this moment can also be written as e i times d square y by d x square is equal to 60 x minus 48 times x minus 1 minus 40 times x minus 3 now uh, our next step comes in which we will be integrating this equation uh, for getting dy by dx and 
uh, value of y and dy by dx will be our slope and y will be our deflection which will further be solved for getting the value of slope and deflection so let's let's come to our step 3 now now what we need to do is we have to integrate this value for uh, integrating we have to use simple formula uh, for integrating x to the power n what we do is x to the, on integrating x to the power n it becomes x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so on integrating this what we get is e i times d y by dx okay is equal to 60 times x square by 2 plus c1 minus 48 times x minus 1 the whole square by 2 minus 40 times x minus 3 whole square by 2 okay uh, from this equation we will get slope and we need to integrate this again to get deflection y now let's integrate that equation again uh, then on integrating we will get e i times y is equal to 60 times x to the power 2 plus 1 n plus 1 i am applying the formula then it becomes x cube by 2 into 3 plus c1 x plus c2 minus 48 by 2 into 3 times x minus 1 to the power 3 this is a nothing just x square and we add n plus 1 then 2 plus 1 it becomes 3 and by n plus 1 okay minus 40 by 2 into 3 times x minus 3 cube 3 to the power 3 now it becomes our equation 4 now uh, after doing this we have to find the value of c1 and c2 for that we have to apply boundary condition applying boundary condition okay as you can see here in span here here, uh, here if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 and now if uh, x becomes here x becomes 6 on moving from this distance here if x is equal to 6 and uh, y is again 0 uh, then after using this x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 6 y is equal to 0 in this equation we will find the value of c1 and c2 okay as i have already mentioned our uh, first uh, boundary equation will be x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 okay then uh, on applying this uh, x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 in this equation in equation 4 we will get c2 is equal to 0 okay uh, then uh, our value becomes implies if x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 in equation 4 then our value c2 is equal to 0 now on substituting the value c2 is equal to 0 in equation 4 we will get this value now we have to find the value of c1 this c1 for finding the value of c1 we have to find apply another boundary equation here i have applied uh, x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 now we have to apply another boundary equation that is x is equal to 6 and uh, y is equal to 0 at x equal to 6 y is equal to 0 what we will have is uh, 0 is equal to 10 into 6 to the power 3 this is x to x is substituted with 6 then plus 6 c1 minus 8 into 5 to the power 3 minus 20 by 3 into 3 to the power 3 now it becomes 
c1 on solving this we will get c1 is equal to minus 163.33 as in the given question we are to we are asked to find the deflection at c and d we, have, we are asked to find deflection at c and d for that uh, i have got the final equation uh, and uh, this is our final equation which is going to be used for finding the deflection now uh, for finding deflection at C I am finding deflection at C that is here if I will be finding deflection at C deflection at C then I need to put x is equal to 1 now uh, we have to from this equation we have to select value up to uh, or we have to select such terms uh, for which on putting x is equal to 0 it will become uh, on putting x uh, on putting the x value it will become 0 and x value should not come negative as you can see if i put x is equal to 1 then this value can be taken if i put x is equal to 1 this value can be taken if i put x is equal to 1 here then it becomes 0 means further we do not need to move uh, we need, do not need to take this equation after because if we put here 1 it becomes negative so this is negated and this becomes 0 so it becomes 0 here for uh, deflection at c only then we need to take this only now here as you can see i have put the value of x is equal to 1 then on solving this you will get yc is equal to minus 9.019 millimeter now we need to find the deflection at D for that uh, in here deflection is at distance 3 meter from A so our value x is equal x becomes x is equal to 3 for that I will be selecting up to this number as on uh, putting x equal to 3 this becomes 0 so our equation becomes EI times YD is equal to 10 into 3 to the power 3 minus 163.33 into 3 minus 8 into uh, 8 into 3 minus 1 to the power 3 and this is 0 on solving this you will get yd is equal to minus 16.7 millimeter so these are the deflection at uh, c and d which was asked in question and uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, i hope you like this video uh, uh, and uh, keep supporting my channel thank you and subscribe to my channel